We're here at Walt Disney World's Hall of Presidents, where in four days, they're gonna shut down for six months to retool for the president-elect. And now I give you the presidents. George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. President number two would be John Adams, and there's number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write the declaration late at night, so he and his wife had a great big fight. She made him sleep on the couch at night. James Madison never had a son when he fought the War of 1812. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio's. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's buddy kicks, and Jackson learns to play politics. Next time, he's the one that the country picks. Martin Van Buren, number eight for a one-term shot at Chief of State. William Harrison, how do you praise? That guy was dead in 30 days. John Tyler, he liked country folk, and after him came President Polk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke his breath, killed friends whenever he spoke. 1850, really nifty, Millard Fillmore's in. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Followed next to period span and four long years with James Buchanan, then the South shot shooting cannon, and we've got a civil war, a war down south in Dixie. Up the back comes old Dave Lincoln, man, that guy was really thinking. Kept the United States from shrinking, saved the ship of state from sinking. Andrew Johnson's next, he had some slight defects. Congress each would impeach, so the country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant, who would scream and rave and rant while drinking whiskey, although risky because he'd spill it on his pants. It's 1877 and the Democrats would bloat, but they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. James Garfield, someone really hated because he was assassinated. Chester Arthur gets instated. Four years later, he was traded. For Grover Cleveland, here's a stat elected twice as a Democrat. Then Benjamin Harrison, after that, it's William McKinley at the bat. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill and President Taft, he got the bill. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War I. Warren Harding, he does fine. It's Calvin Coolidge next in line. And then in 1929, the market crashes. And we find it's Herbert Hoover's big debut. He gets the blame and loses to Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War II. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms. And when he's done, it's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. John F. Kennedy, he gets shot. And Lyndon Johnson takes his spot. Richard Nixon, he gets caught. And Gerald Ford fell down a lot. Jimmy Carter like campaign trips and Ronald Reagan speeches. Scripts all came from famous movie clips and President Bush said, read my lips. Two terms for Clinton, then we see the same for George Bush, 43. Barack Obama is in for eight. Now Donald Trump will make America great. And it's gonna be huge, believe me.